burn marks. They must have spent a whole case of ammo holding this site. Suppose that means we missed all the fun. No one's gonna move on this place now that the Pridwin's in town. In my experience, hot shots and big mouths end up with closed casket funerals. Cavalry's a I don't know where you're going, but if you want to remain a part of the Brotherhood, I'd get back here. Dance? Cavalry's arrived, and it looks like they sent in the big guns. That ship? I've never seen anything like it. Amazing, isn't it? We call our ship the Pridwin. She's loaded with enough troops and supplies to mount a major offensive. If she's here, Elder Maxon's here. And that means we're going to war. Who's Elder Maxon? Maxon is the commander of this division of the Brotherhood of Steel. He's the model of what every Brotherhood soldier hopes to become. If we're going to war, I can promise you that he'll be leading the charge. That being said, you're about to get to know the Pridwin up close and personal. I've received orders that we're both to report to her immediately. Follow me up to the roof of the police station. We're going for a little ride. If we intend to stay here, we need to reinforce this compound.
Permission granted. Welcome back, Paladin. Allow me to be the first to congratulate you on a successful mission. And is this our new recruit? Yes, sir. I feel promoted him to initiate, and I'd like to sponsor his entry into our rankings personally. Yes, we've read your reports. You'll be pleased to know that Elder Maxon's approved your request. Place the recruit in your charge. Thank you, sir. And my current orders? You are to remain on the Privy and await further instructions. Very good, sir. Ad Victorium, Captain. Ad Victorium, Captain. Excuse me, Captain Kells. So, you're the one Paladin Dance has taken under his wing. <laughs> you don't look much like a soldier to me. Looks can be deceiving. Which is precisely why I personally insist on scrutinizing every recruit who boards this vessel. I've read Paladin Dance's reports. He seems to think you'll make a fine addition to the Brotherhood. You might expect an endorsement like that to grant you a great deal of latitude with us. But let me make one thing clear. The Brotherhood of Steel has traveled to the Commonwealth with a specific goal in mind. As the captain of this vessel, I won't allow anyone to jeopardize our mission, no matter how valuable they think they are. Understood? What exactly is your mission here? I'm not at liberty to say. Elder Maxon will be addressing the crew shortly, and I'm certain all of your questions will be answered. Now, was there anything else, or was everything I said understood? Not even a hint? Come on. I deserve it. Look, all I can tell you is that we're here directly in response to the data the Dance's recon team provided us. Beyond that, you'll just have to wait until Elder Maxon addresses the crew. Now dispense with the questions. It's time to get to work. Understood? That's all for now, soldier. Your orders are to proceed to the command deck for the address. After which, Elder Maxon wishes to have a word with you. If you have any questions, ask me now. Otherwise, you're dismissed. Can you tell me anything about Elder Maxon? Elder Maxon is the Supreme Commander of the Brotherhood. Without his tenacity and his vision, we'd still be a small group of complacent stragglers, occupying the Citadel and the Capital Wasteland. In a mere decade, he's grown the Brotherhood of Steel into a major military force. He's an inspiration to us all. Is there anything else? What are my orders? Your orders are to proceed to Elder Maxon's address, after which he wishes to speak with you. Anything else? Where can I get power armor? Only knights are allowed to wear Brotherhood power armor. And you're no knight. Not yet. Until Elder Maxon grants you that title, You'll have to make do with what you've got. Anything else? I don't have any questions. Then I suggest you head over to the command deck immediately. Dismissed, Initiate. Excuse me. On your way, soldier. Maxon's address is being held on the command deck. Welcome aboard. Elder Maxon is holding his address inside the command deck. Brothers and sisters, the road behind has been long and fraught with difficulty. Each and every one of you has surpassed my expectations by rapidly facilitating our arrival in the Commonwealth. You have accomplished this amazing feat without a hint of purpose or direction. And most impressively, without question. Now that the ship is in position, it is time to reveal our purpose and our beneath the Commonwealth. There is a cancer known as the Institute, a malignant growth that needs to be cut before it infects the surface. They are experimenting with dangerous technologies that could prove to be the world's undoing for the second time in recent history. The Institute scientists have created a weapon that transcends the destructive nature of the atom bomb they call their creation, the Synth. 
a robotic abomination of technology that is free thinking and masquerades as a human being. This notion that a machine could be granted free will is not only offensive, but horribly dangerous. And like the atom, if it isn't harnessed properly, it has the potential of rendering us extinct as a species. I am not prepared to allow the Institute to continue this line of experimentation. Therefore, the Institute and their Sikhs are considered enemies of the Brotherhood of Steel and should be dealt with swiftly and mercilessly. This campaign will be costly and many lives will be lost. But in the end, we will be saving humankind from its worst enemy. Itself. Ad Victorium. Ad Victorium. Ad Victorium. I care about them, you know. The people of the Commonwealth. I can see that. They're playing with fire and we need to save them. Exactly. I just hope we're here in time. I refuse to allow the mistakes of the past to be repeated. What do you want from me? I want you to start taking responsibility for this planet. To start making a difference. And from what I've read in Paladin Dance's reports, you've already begun that journey. Seeing as he's one of my most respected field officers, you couldn't get a better recommendation. Therefore, from this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of knight. And, befitting your title, we're granting you a suit of power armor to protect you on the field of battle. Wear it with pride. I'll do my best to live up to it. I'm certain that you will. In any event, once you're finished becoming familiar with the Pridwin and my staff, report to the flight deck for your new orders. Welcome aboard the Pridwin, soldier. Make us proud. You look worried. Is something bothering you? I was just thinking that blowing up the Institute won't just destroy all the synths, but Humans looking at as well. I can't believe it. Get that out of your head right now. Those people are not innocent. <coughs> Maxon said freedom would come at a cost. And they all need to pay. At this right? rate, if we keep killing the people that won't listen to us, we'll be the only ones left. If we keep running into people that are threatening our future, then maybe it's best that we are. Captain. I believe you're needed elsewhere right now. We can talk later. Sir, nothing new. Good. Carry on, Knight. When I get off duty, that Salisbury steak is mine. Can you believe synths are replacing humans with exact duplicates? Makes me sick. Something else. Whoa, whoa. You're telling me the Institute created those monsters? Why? Hell if I know. Maybe just to prove they could. Those muties might look the part, but if you ask me, the Institute is the real monster. Unless you like getting shot, take every feral, mutie, and scent and shoot them into space. Won't be able to hack this. There's no time to waste when there's work to be done. Excuse me, Proctor Teagan. We can talk shop after you've fully checked in with Elder Max and the Paladin Dance. Come find me when you're done checking in with Maxon and Dance. There. Try it now. Nothing. I, I was like supposed to report ten minutes ago. If you 
I can't yeah, fix it. I can I'm fix it. it You're the one who decided to kick your way through a mire lurk. How's that? You know, got it. So how did it protecting mankind from got repeating got the mistakes of the past, Thanks, restoring the wasteland. A good fight. Right, right. Of course. I'm not gonna lie, though. Getting to fire military-grade weapons was a big draw for me. Excuse me, Paladin Dance? There you are. How did it go with Elder Maxon? Maxon seems so young compared to everyone else. You're okay with that? Don't let his age fool you. Maxon's a brilliant tactician, a formidable warrior, and possesses an idealistic vision for the future of the Brotherhood. I'd follow him anywhere, without question. Why are you so confident in his abilities? A decade ago, the Brotherhood had almost gone completely astray. The Elder before Maxon sent us down a path that was leading nowhere. He was more concerned about charity than the preservation of technology. But when Maxon took over, he single-handedly reprioritized the Brotherhood from the ground up and put us back on the path to glory. This ship and its crew are a testament to his leadership. He's a very dedicated man. It sounds like he stands behind everything he's saying. Of course he does. How could he afford not to? I just hope you appreciate how much of a chance I'm taking bringing you into the fold this quickly. Not to put too fine a point on it, but if you screw up, we go down together. So what's all this about you being my sponsor? Elder Maxon is understandably particular when it comes to new recruits. He believes in order to keep the Brotherhood strong, we have to bond as brothers. As your sponsor, it's my duty to travel with you throughout the Commonwealth to ensure that our ideals are being observed. That's why I'm so concerned about your performance in the field. Don't worry. I'll be careful. Good. Because we've got a lot of work ahead of us, and I don't want anything slowing us down. Now, I know you're eager to hop into a suit of power armor and take the fight to the Institute. But first things first. In order to be an effective part of the team, you need to learn your way around this ship and get to know its crew. Since I've been officially assigned to you as your sponsor, I'd recommend taking me along with you. Sounds good. Let's go. Outstanding. Why are you bothering with that junk? So, you're the new recruit I heard about. Huh, not what I was expecting. What were you expecting? The last batch of recruits we took on were wastelanders. Dirty, beaten up, looking for a handout. They were desperate and looking for an easy out. You look like you're here for a reason. Anyway, since you came down here to meet me, we may as well get it over with. My name's Ingram, and this lovely little grease pit is where you'll usually find me. If your power armor's too tight in the crotch, the Pridwin's about to crash into the ground, or a robot's gone haywire, you come see me. Is this where I get my power armor? Ha! <laughs> That's always the first question from the new guys. Let's see... I just fixed up a pretty decent T-60 suit. The left leg actuator's a bit sticky, but it'll keep the creeps off of you. It's sitting in Bay 3. There isn't a day that goes by on this tub without five or six things breaking down. And since I'm stuck in this rig, I'm not quite as spry as I used to be. The work tends to pile up. You feel like telling me how you ended up that way? That's a little personal, don't you think? Come on. If we're going to be working as a team, we should get to know each other better. I'm not really looking for sympathy. And honestly, I don't know you that well. Maybe some other time. Anyway, if you need any work done on your power armor, feel free to use the workshops around here. Now if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. At Victorian, brother.
When it comes to keeping the Pridwin running, Proctor Ingram's the best. If you're looking for ammunition or weapon mods, Proctor Keegan might have what you need. Unless you like getting radiation sickness, I'd stay away from ferals. Should hold. Thank you, sister. You know, we wouldn't Lancer have to Captain worry about Kells is one of the finest officers I've ship. ever had the Your pleasure of serving. Your concerns are noted, under. scribe. Give Proctor Ingram my thanks for letting By me By Elder Maxon's orders, all forms of technology should be confiscated. Scribe and Mariah. Feel free to have a look at the specimens, but please don't touch anything. I refuse to be held responsible if you're injured. Are all these creatures yours? Well, they're an important part of my research, if that's what you mean. I'm on the cusp of discovering how these creatures' bodies have adapted to the radiation that's infiltrated their habitats. If I can crack the code, I can equip our troops with a protective compound far superior to Rad-X. What do you mean, crack the code? The genetic code. The DNA sequences that are in every living thing. You see, the ionizing radiation left behind by the Great War kills because it damages most living things on a cellular level. However, after several generations, these creatures' bodies have adapted by altering their genetic makeup to prevent cellular disruption. I believe I've discovered how I can replicate that genetic restructuring rapidly. Instead of decades, I can do it in moments. For a short period of time, anyway. Altering someone's genetic code sounds dangerous. Absolutely. That's why I'm taking precautions and not altering the genetic code permanently. I wish I could show you a sample of the compound. But unfortunately, I've hit a stumbling block, preventing me from synthesizing a sample. The specimens I've already captured can only produce so much blood and genetic material. If I try and harvest too much, they'll die. What I need are more samples of blood from the creatures roaming the Commonwealth. Didn't plan on getting killed for science anytime soon. You don't have to do anything out of the ordinary. I've modified your Pip-Boy to scan the corpse of any freshly killed creature that has the proper type of blood in its body. All you have to do is pick up any viable sample and bring it back to me. Hey, I really appreciate you doing this for me. It's nice to know I'm not the only person in the Brotherhood with an open mind. This science won't know what hit it! Outrank me or not, don't touch the experiments! Please! Never forget, you are the eyes and the ears of the Brotherhood. If you see or hear anything suspicious, it is your duty to report it immediately. We live in Dr. Ingram said she needed this suit tested yesterday. Yeah, I get it. You just... What if I miss? You don't. Okay, sure. Firing. Everything holding together? Trust me. Hey, I'm yeah. Good. Uh, firing! Sure. Anytime. Thank God. Do you know what a 10 pound cockroach can do to a buoyancy regulator? Don't get smart. There's a reason food's not allowed. If dumb and ugly had a child, it'd be a super mutant. Glad you finally stopped by, soldier. Are you ready for your medical exam? I'd just leave that if I were you. As long as it doesn't involve petroleum jelly and rubber gloves, I'm ready. No, no. This isn't that sort of examination. I'm going to ask you a series of medical-related questions, and I'd like you to answer me to the best of your ability. First question. As a child, were you ever exposed to radiation for an extended period of time? Wouldn't vault Tech screening process have caught this already? vault Tech screening process? Let me check my notes here. You were a vault dweller? You're probably healthier than anyone else aboard. 
Anyway, sorry I missed that in your records. Just going down the list of questions. I'm sure you understand. Okay, second question. Have you ever had or come in contact with a person confirmed to be carrying a communicable disease? Have you had problems with the crew catching diseases? Well, yes, actually. It's not unusual for our recon teams to stumble across contaminated environments or disease-carrying creatures. We don't want a single crewman infecting the entire ship. Anyway, uh, this exam is about you, so... Have you had or come in contact with anyone carrying a communicable disease? Honestly, I don't remember. Well, you don't appear to be suffering from any long-term ill effects, so I'll assume you haven't. Third question, and please, answer honestly. Have you ever had sexual relations with any species considered non-human? Well, there was this one really ugly girl in college. I mean, I had to get drunk, and it was a dare, and ugh. That hardly qualifies, so I'll just put no. Last question. Would you have any problems pulling the trigger on an enemy of the Brotherhood, whether they're human, formerly human, or machine? That's more of a morals question, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. I feel that the mental state of the crew is just as important as the physical. Anyone that hesitates firing in combat due to misguided moral standards certainly isn't Brotherhood material. So what about you? Would you have a problem with it? Nope. No problem whatsoever. Excellent. You'll fit in quite well around here. Excellent. I think I've got all the information I need. I see no reason to prevent you from beginning your duties immediately. If you ever need medical assistance, you let me know. Ah, good. You're finally here. Just set the books down anywhere. I'll get to them as soon as I can. What? Not even a thank you? I hardly need to... Oh my. It appears I've mistaken you for someone else. Since it's obvious that you aren't who I was expecting, would you mind telling me why you're here? Maxon wanted me to meet the crew, so you were next on my list. Ah, yes. You must be the new recruit described in Paladin Dance's report. Under normal circumstances, I'd provide you with a proper orientation of my department. However, I'm woefully behind setting up research patrols and getting bombarded with requests for technical documentation. Unfortunately, I'm lacking the personnel needed to get the job done. What exactly is a research patrol? Simply put, we send a small two-man team to scout a location and evaluate its technical and historical relevance. Saves us from sending an entire retrieval team to a worthless location. What type of technical documentation are you looking for? The Brotherhood is primarily interested in collecting information that might assist us with our current mission. Medical records, science journals, weapon schematics. If it contains any type of useful data, we need to get our hands on it. Maybe I can lend you a hand. That would be splendid. As you patrol the Commonwealth, keep your eyes open for blueprints, memos, manuals, books, charts. Anything containing useful technical data. I'm authorized to pay you for each bundle of documents that you recover. And if you wish to be assigned to a research patrol, I have plenty of them waiting to be filled. In any event, it was a pleasure to meet you, Knight. If you keep boarding that garbage, you're going to slow us down.
Step forward, Knight. Even though they've locked me in this blasted cage, I promise that I won't bite. Why are you in there? I'm glad you asked. Now, this is the stowage depot, and I, as you probably already guessed, am the ship's quartermaster, Proctor Tegan. The powers that be have me locked in here, so I can keep an eye on the Brotherhood's valuables. If you need to stock up on supplies before you head out on a mission, this is the place to buy them. Wait, buy them? Since when does the military sell equipment to its own soldiers? Since someone dropped a whole bunch of bombs and blew up every single factory that manufactured weapons and ammunition. Keeping the Brotherhood supplied takes caps, and everyone contributes to the cause. The good news is by having a constant flow of caps, I'm able to buy whatever you bring me. Yeah, I'm mostly interested in weapons, but I'll take anything useful. Of course, if you're just looking to make a few caps on the side, I might have some extra work for you to do. What sort of extra work are we talking about? Oh, no, 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 no. It's nothing like you're thinking. It just involves a little bit of heavy lifting and... interacting with the local farms. And since I'm stuck up here manning this one-man zoo, I need someone to do the legwork for me. After you're done with the meet and greet, we can discuss the details. In the meantime, if you ever need anything else, a gun, a mod, even ammo, you just let me know. Tegan. What brings you to me today? Let me see what you have. All of my weapons are mission ready. Ferals. Radiation has a twisted sense of humor. Welcome aboard, brother. Now that you familiarized done. yourself with the Pridwin's crew, are you ready for your next assignment, brother? Just point me to the action. I applaud your enthusiasm, Knight. Let's get right to it, then. Shall we? Take a look over there. That's Fort Strong. And it's infested with super mutants. Having those aberrations of nature close enough to smell is making me sick to my stomach. To make matters worse, they're sitting on top of a massive stockpile of fat man shells we could use in our campaign. I want you to head over there, wipe out everything that moves, and secure that stockpile. Understood? What do these shells do? The Fat Man launcher is an essential part of the Brotherhood arsenal. It's a miniature nuclear payload, in a man portable format. A squad of troops armed with one of these is virtually unstoppable. If you ever have the pleasure of firing one, allow me to give you a word of advice. Don't fire one of them in close quarters. There won't be enough of you to bury in a shoebox. That enough to go on? Super mutants? I thought the enemy was the Institute. Super mutants are no better than sense. They're a reminder of man's folly when it comes to harnessing technology. Whether it's using biochemistry to manipulate genes, or trying to create life from a bunch of circuits. It's the wrong path for science. As members of the Brotherhood, it's our sworn duty to exterminate these abominations in every form. So, can I count on you to get the job done? Consider it done. Look, I realize you're eager to take the fight to the Institute, but it'll have to wait. The Brotherhood cannot allow those abominations to have a nuclear arsenal at their fingertips. It'll be a pleasure to exterminate that mutant filth. Now, we have a vertebrate on standby, fully armed and ready to depart. Use it to carry our message to Fort Strong and wipe those dirty mutants from the face of the Earth. Dismissed. Having the Pridwood moored above the airport keeps the brother in striking distance to the city. 
How can a machine believe it's alive? Target acquired. I'll try and keep him in your sights.
place may appear abandoned, but that doesn't mean we should drop our guard. Yes. Well, that's a skill they don't teach in boot camp. Bunch of junk. A waste of time. Quite a bit of trash to pick through here. Searching through it could prove beneficial. Look alive. What do you want? Go check that out. Alive. Go ahead.
Got anything interesting for me today? Paladin Dance. Look at this place. You must hate these mutants as much as I do. Why do you hate super mutants so much? Hate's too gentle a word. These monstrosities are just another example of man blindly taking a step forward, only to wind up stumbling two steps back. I've been fighting for years, trying to put a stop to this madness. And just when I thought we were getting the upper hand, along come the synths. I've seen what these super mutants do to people. Can you imagine what the synths would do to us if they ever got the upper hand? It would be Armageddon repeated. And maybe the end of everything that we hold dear. <sighs> Look, I don't mean to bore you with my rhetoric. I just want you to understand how important these missions are. How could synths bring about our destruction? If the synths reached the point where they outnumbered mankind, how long would it take for them to decide we were no longer necessary? They certainly possess the capability to make more of their own kind. 
so we'd become expendable. And with Institute technology on their side, nothing could stop them. Not even the Brotherhood. It's a nightmare scenario almost too terrible to contemplate. Anyway, that's enough of that. What's important here is that you got the job done and secured these warheads. You should head back up to the Pridwin and talk to Maxon. I'm sure he'll want to debrief you as soon as possible. Dismissed. Outstanding work at Fort Strong, soldier. It was an honor fighting for the Brotherhood. I'm glad you feel that way. Because our mission here has only just begun. In order to bring the Institute to its knees, we need to use every weapon at our disposal. I try to supply my soldiers with the best. That's why I'm giving you these. Signal grenades can call a vertebrate to your location when you need aerial transport. Simply throw one to the ground and the vertebrate will hone in on the unique electromagnetic smoke it emits. Once you're aboard, use the map on your pit boy to interface with the pilot's navigation system, so he'll be able to take you wherever you need. Thank you, Elder. I'll make good use of them. I expect that you will. Now, I'm sure you're aware that Fort Strong was simply the first step towards the liberation of the Commonwealth. An even greater task lies ahead. By now, I'm sure you've deduced that our arrival in the Commonwealth wasn't coincidental. We're here because of a unique energy reading recorded by Paladin Dance's recon team. According to our scribes, the reading indicated a level of technology that only the Institute could achieve. The moment this information came to light, our mission became clear. The Institute, and everyone responsible for the creation of the synths, must be eliminated at all costs. To accomplish this goal, we need to locate the Institute's headquarters. I've had our scribes meticulously searching the Commonwealth, but they've come up empty-handed. Sounds like you're gonna have me crawling through the sewers now. It could be the sewers, the transit tunnels, or maybe an old vault. We just don't have enough information right now. I want you to get out there, and become our eyes and ears on the ground. You seem to have a vested interest in locating the Institute before we met, so I'm confident you'll travel in the right circles. If you discover a way in, I need you to report it to me immediately. Any questions, Knight? Any suggestions where I should look next? All I can suggest is that you keep your eyes and ears open, Knight. We have every available scribe working on a way into the Institute. It's only a matter of time before a method presents itself.
You see that big blimp? It's the Brotherhood of Steel. Why are they here? Oh, I do it! Nothing to see here. I'm just asking for your opinion. It'd be a great quote. He's my client, Piper. Why don't you learn not to snoop on a man's private affairs? Well, well, speak of the devil. You're back. And not with your son. What happened? Where do you want me to start? The part where Kellogg turned out to be working for the Institute? Or the part where he told me they have Sean? The Institute? Oh, boy. I'm sorry, friend. Truly. That makes things considerably more complicated. He ain't kidding. Heck, Nick's a synth, and even he doesn't know how to get in. No synth does. Security protocols strip those memories out. No, Mr. Metal for Hands doesn't know how to get back to the factory. No, I skipped that part of the orientation film while they were busy pulling me apart and putting me back together again. Look. The sad thing is, I have no idea. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night, and sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg? Huh. Man like that would have had access. In and out. Yeah, but I'm guessing he wasn't the surrender and talk type, was he? We can talk to him. Feel like holding a... Seance? <laughs> a literal dead end, huh? So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. He wasn't gonna talk. Even if I had a way of bringing him in alive. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. Who's this Dr. Amari? I'll let her give you her life story in person. Let's stay focused. We're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so... Who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm gonna introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. Anything else you can tell me about the memory den? It's in Good Neighbor, a little slice of trouble northeast a ways. The memory den ain't just a fancy name. It's literal. 
A lot of people give up all their caps just to relive the good parts of their lives. Over and over. But not us. We're gonna try to dive deep into someone else's mind. I can meet you there, or we can head out together. I'll head out with Piper. We'll meet you there, Nick. Sounds good. You two stay out of trouble. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Just a few more steps. Hmm. Uh, so long as you're carrying it. What's that for? Ellie? I'm glad you're here. We got a new case while you and Nick were out. Ready to put on the detective hat? The only thing I'm ready for is danger and awesome. Pew, pew, pew! I'm afraid hard-earned caps is all we've got to offer, honey. Anyway, the client is a fisherman who lives on the edge of the Commonwealth. Kenji Nakano. Mr. Nakano didn't leave many details. Said he'd go over everything when you meet him. But if you want my guess, missing person case. Guy had a worried look a mile long. Anything you can tell me about Kenji Nakano? Just some impressions. He was obviously upset, but he was also in a hurry, like he couldn't stand just waiting around. I'm a friend of Nick's. He'll remember me. I need his help right away. And then he was gone. He was muttering something on the way out, but... No. I'm not sure it was important. Come on, Ellie. Don't hold out on me. What did he say? Well, I thought I heard him say something about a daughter and also a radio, but I might have misheard him. Not sure how the two would be connected. I'll go check it out. Thanks, Ellie. The Nakano residence is up in the northeast, near the coast. A small fishing house. He said that he and his wife will be waiting for you. 